All right, guys, here we're going to talk about Season 4, Episode 7 of The Twilight Zone. So what did you think about this episode of The Twilight Zone? More of the witchcraft zone uh, or something like that. Yeah, right? there's a, you, lot, a uh, lot of lingering throughout this episode into different things. Like, like so, so <laughs> the, the, the plot is a, a man is, is in love with this girl, um, but, but he previously had, had dated some other girl who is, who is mad that they're not together anymore, it's a little, and she's going to win messy. him back through witchcraft, but as there's you, a price. <laughs> as you do, blondes can just succeed in life. Brunettes need to use witchcraft. She was also rich, so she had that's, a lot going for that's her. That's the message. Yeah, yeah, the blonde is rich, yeah. very privileged. Brunette, Daddy's got land. Right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> the witchcraft as it is presented in this, though, uh, very interesting. So by making a Swear deal with the witch, it. you not only become a witch yourself, but you're cursed <laughs> uh, to become an animal and never die unless you're stabbed by silver. I mean, there's, you know, that part is fine. I don't understand why, like... <clears throat> Did you feel like this is a Twilight Zone episode? No. I, I'm left like, oh man, the choices we make in life, that matters so much. Right? I, d well, I, I didn't have any, like, uh, right? <laughs> it, it was like they had ideas and they kept throwing them out. So, like, originally yeah. it seems like, oh, she is cursed. Upon, uh, like, you know, midnight until when the sun goes down, she's a jaguar. Oh, so that is that is the price you pay. You can have the one you love, but you may kill him because because you're a jaguar during the day. Yeah. Um, but then they, they hunt and kill the jaguar because she, as a jaguar, for the first time, seems to have the mental Is prowess. Is it a jaguar then... or a leopard? Leopard, same thing. Okay, you keep saying yeah. jaguar; it's freaking me out. Whatever. I'm sorry. Uh, it, it, it is a it is yeah, a large I did, cat. I didn't know if she was sentient or sapient. Or she whatever wasn't. She even this. said that. Don't open the door. Yeah. I'm gonna do these things. And then toward the end, she was like, "I'm gonna murder that blonde How girl." How does she even know what's happening? Then I don't know what's going on. Okay. Our plot yes. was very loose. Right. Uh, but then she's killed before she can kill the the actual one the guy loves. Yeah. And when she's killed, she just puffs. And you think like, oh, if it were a 22-minute episode, it would end there, and they would find the ring and be like, what is that? The spell's broken. And he'd go back to his only, when he loves. But no, it's an hour-long episode, and uh, <laughs> so the story keeps going. <laughs> and, and now it turns into like, oh no, no, you just devolve constantly into. But then you can go back up a little bit. Like it was this weird oh, no. thing of like, oh, she was a frog, she says, and like, she was a rat, and she was yeah. a spider. She says like she just jumps to somewhere else, and when when he grabbed that spider, and then a little like puff came <laughs> out of his hand. I was like, okay, now we're the in, thing that threw me though we're was doing he grabbed here. that spider during a day uh yeah. like and I'm, I'm okay but then other things know. were at night and i'm like wait a minute now that she's dead she's just hopping between forms endlessly i guess yeah but like why why is I that a thing and and to your point like it's not there was a bunch of things happening with like i've made the devil's bargain and this is a thing or whatever yeah. but like the witch wasn't like oh and and now that i've done this to you it will benefit me in some that, way that was my main like, thing where no... i was like where do you where did you get out of this and then i was like by yeah. the end i'm like oh did you get out of this just getting her out of the way because the you actually wanted the guy couldn't you have just cast a spell on him with probably no repercussions because you are a witch? Right. Uh, but if all witches are just someone that had a spell on them, no, what? that's so that's what I'm thinking now. Is that uh, or or that's what I was thinking then was like, oh, you're gonna find out that like that witch had some curse, and now this curse helps her deal with her curse. Yeah. And it's this weird anti-pyramid scheme of like uh, you know screwing, you know, tricking people, screwing people over. But uh, we don't really. Know I pictured that, that like once uh, the the leopard died, it yeah. was gonna like spring back up to her, and she would just be permanently trapped in the leopard's body type of thing because they they established thing earlier on where oh when blah blah killed that hawk he. he you uh, you cursed his cattle or something. There you go. And I was, I was like, oh, that must have been like her familiar. That was probably another girl that got trapped in the body yes. of an animal. But no, it wasn't. That's okay. Because I forgot about that because they didn't go back into uh -huh. that. That that was just one of the many stories of like, the townsfolk say you a witch. And she's like, oh, well, they're dead tell stories. Yeah. I'm a fucking witch. Uh -huh. Right, the whole thing. Yeah. I was, in my notes, I'm like, Granny's a witch. <laughs> This is and crazy. that whole get that silver away from me, we're like, okay, they're werewolf rules. The silver will kill her. Yes. Um, I maybe I just didn't hear it appropriately, or I like, didn't get what was happening. But I, he, he, she said like, oh, you got to get an outfit that she wore. And I thought it was like, and make her wear it, and then like, like kill her. Some of that was like, no, no, just no, put on that was, dummy and poke the dummy with it. With she silver. used the word like dress it up like a thing, like her, and then stab it through the heart. Okay, so you she, just needed a voodoo version of her to stab. Okay, there you go. I was gonna say okay. she, she didn't say doll or voodoo or man. I think I only heard the dress something. it up, and I was, yeah. I was I was like, okay, dress her up in an outfit right. from, from a previous thing. I was like, okay, got that. So I pictured him like grabbing like, the rat, throwing it into the dress, and then stabbing it. Like, uh, yeah. was what I thought was gonna happen. No, but we do a whole thing where he like puts on like you know puts it onto like a dress dummy, yeah. dummy like in uh, you know Sleeping Beauty or whatever Snow White, whatever it is, the mm -hmm. other one, not that Cinderella. We did it when all the rats make the dress, they do it on this weird yeah. fake 
lady. Uh, a body form. Uh, yeah, like a, like a spring form body pan thing. Mm -hmm. uh, it's on there. He stabs it with like a very thin looking silver thing. Yeah, it was her hair pin. Thing. Yeah. And then uh, it's like so thin and weird looking, but stabs it in there. Mm -hmm. And then it briefly turns back into her and then, and then she, yeah. she, she like collapses and dies. Yeah, it might have been a it little also, better. It also possesses, she also possesses the blonde at one yes. point. What the fuck was that? Yeah, and, and almost at that point, I, I was like, I was like hey, is this like a win-win thing here? I don't know. <laughs> like, yeah. could, could you just stay, could, like, could you have just sneakily stayed in that body and just been totally fine? Did you have to be like, it's me? <laughs> well, and, and even from his point of view, I would have been mm. like, oh, uh -huh. I used to like her, and now it's in the nice body all eh, But he did, he did fall out of love with her he did. seemingly earlier on before this episode, but and like, then immediately into this block. I would have been intrigued. Because I'm because I'm a weird person, I would have been like, okay, either my new bride has just gone crazy and snapped, in which case down, uh, or she really is possessed by my like witch ex, in which case down. So yeah. like, let's let's. I've I've always wanted people to like explore stories where like for a long time something weird, crazy like that happens and what that does or whatever. But anyway, well, how about we just like on their the the night of them announcing their wedding yeah. and he just like whoop and he bounces with that girl and and, and how they all react because at first yes. it, it, it's as innocent as he's dancing with somebody and everyone's like oh, how could he dance with that girl and it's not like who's that why is that girl here because the bride was like oh go get Clara May or whatever her yeah, ass yeah, back yeah. here uh, and like so you're like okay it wasn't even like they all know that's his ex and how could he dance with her it was like okay I think that's... they do know it's her ex and it's like a scandal no no they, they, it, was, ex, it was a secret they say he never told anybody they okay. were together interesting um, so like because if, if it was if it she's was a, a low class gypsy witch yeah. and he's gotta hide the fact oh, okay. now she is but if it were public <laughs> knowledge there'd be no like oh don't let her leave I don't want people leaving my party early like okay. it was like this friendly like oh no we want our people here and then when they dance, it's immediately a slight. And then they, they, they do walk out, which is a little odd. But everyone's like, the wedding is off. I can't believe he would how, have a gentle talk with this how, person. How dare he disrespect you like that? Yeah. Well, I He'll wouldn't be allow it. to talk with me. If he yeah. comes back right now, I'll go right back to him. I wouldn't let you go he back and sell your honor. <laughs> Cause hell yeah. no. Yeah. It's good times. It's good times. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> no, it's, it's super weird. I don't like this because I want it to end in a way... That's like, wow. And I don't know, maybe they were just, so like two, you know, you know, two points. I think we're seeing why the Twilight Zone returned to a half an hour format for season five. Sure. Because there's a lot of these now that have been like, wow, there's a lot of episode yeah. here and it's not worth it, right? Yeah. So that's point number one. <laughs> point number two, this particular one is in that category of like, you just had a short story or something. Or two short stories and you mix them and together because you needed an hour. Together. Right and like, yeah. it, it, like because there could have been a yeah. story about a love potion and a person who was cursed with animal form or something and like yeah. like we'll, we'll make like one episode out of that. Yeah, because for 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 like literally a minute you think, oh, this is gonna be the old chestnut of I wanted a love potion, but now he's like getting abusive and crazy. He loves me too much. Yeah, yeah. Right, but they just sidestep that and mm -hmm. move on. Like, oh no, no, that was just a misdirect. The real story is I turn into a leopard at night. Yeah. Oh, you know the creature of the night that everyone knows from like Louisiana uh -huh. wherever they are, the leopard or so. It's insane. Um, and, and there might be some joy to be found in the insanity, but no, at the end, there's no like, wait, is she possessed still? Or wait, yeah. is, is there an animal still? Or wait, is there a, there's no, there's no like, ah, oh, my, it broke my glasses and turns out earth is dead. Like, like there's none of that. Well, we it's get just, a shooting star. I, yeah. my mama used to tell me whenever you see a shooting star, that means a witch died. <laughs> What? <laughs> you know, the legend that everyone knows about dead witches and shooting stars. Well, it's obvious. You know, I'm yeah. familiar with it, but yeah. I'm, I'm from Mississippi backwards, this, this, this person. This was in the 60s. We had to raise awareness about mm. these uh, folklore that everyone has. Yeah, this episode kind of a dud for me. Agreed. Uh, I really didn't like the main girl, uh, the bad girl. I guess. Oh, well, I liked her. Uh, something about her, I couldn't look away from like like the birthmark right here. Like, she had well, she had like a pinup whatever quality. For yeah, me. yeah. I thought like yeah, I was like cool. The blonde, I'm like you're boring. You're just her haircut looked like it was from a different decade though. Yes. Like a future decade. Exactly. Yeah. A more a more a more suave modern haircut. <laughs> Back then that was a scandal. Oh, you have oh. hair like that. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, that's our thoughts on this, episode. <laughs> on this episode. Listen on the console what you thought about it. Don't die in a fire, and we'll see you next time. Hello, Internets. I just love watching Just Daggers. If you've enjoyed this video as much as I have, click that subscribe button. <laughs> Peace out, homies.